we've got coupons, taxes, taxes, taxes. Ooh, I might have already won. This is what I was looking for, election mail. All right, I'm gonna put on my bike legal shirt for this one. That's how you know this is an advocacy video. This video will explain an easy way to make LA streets safer for all of us. And I'm gonna deputize you to help solve a hit and run incident with a beloved member of our community. So if you live in LA, you might've gotten one of these in your mail recently. It says presidential primary election. It might be easy to ignore that because those are both sort of a foregone conclusion. But what's also in here is local elections. And right here on page one is super important. You might remember last year where I did this petition signing event with Streets for All and Sierra Club and Bike Legal. That was for the city mobility plan. This is a plan to improve 2,500 miles of streets in Los Angeles for pedestrians, cyclists, and public transportation. That petition is on this ballot and Los Angeles needs your vote bad. There are more deadly crashes than murders in Los Angeles. And I'm not saying go murder somebody to fix that stat. There's all kinds of talk about drugs and fentanyl. Car collisions are the number one killer of kids in Los Angeles. That's 29 people on Sepulveda, 42 on Western, 46 on Vermont Avenue. Last year, more pedestrians died from car collisions on Vermont Avenue in Los Angeles than in the entire state of Vermont. This bill is focused on pedestrians, but it'll also include public transit and bike lanes. Bike lanes and it's not gonna raise your taxes. Basically, every time they repave a road, they have to now include bike lanes and other infrastructure. So if you got your mail-in ballot, make sure you hit yes on measure HLA, or if you didn't, go to the polls and vote on March 5th. Local elections typically have a terrible turnout, so your vote really matters, as does telling your friends, telling your family, telling folks to get out and vote. You can have a real impact on this one that you'll see a real impact from on the roads over the next few years. And while I have you and we're doing a bike legal video, I wanna talk about a friend of the cycling community, Derek Teal. He is the victim recently of a hit and run and they're still looking for the vehicle. It's a silver sedan with a missing mirror was knocked off in the incident. Somebody left him for dead. Here's a quick message to the motorists out there. It doesn't matter if you're drunk or you were texting or both. They almost always say, well, it was an accident and they let the motorist off, which means you're totally safe to stop, call the police, make sure the person doesn't die in a ditch. Whereas a hit and run, well, now it's a felony and you are going to prison. So if you're the guy driving that car or you know the guy driving that car, don't aid and abet. Go ahead and call him out. This person's a piece of shit. Go ahead and call that in. Our friend Derek, it looks like he's gonna be okay. Got a long road of recovery ahead of him. There's a donation link as well. Appreciate you having a look and spreading the word. Thanks for watching. See ya.